Ever feel like you're walking a tightrope trying to balance your work and personal life? This metaphorical tightrope walk is a reality many of us face in today's fast-paced, hyper-connected world. Our lives are brimming with incessant demands, distractions, and deadlines that can often leave us feeling overwhelmed and off-kilter. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance is no easy feat. It's like being a juggler at a circus, keeping multiple balls in the air all at once. Your career, family, friends, hobbies, personal wellness, and more. But the challenge lies not in juggling these elements, but in ensuring none of them fall. And let's face it, the struggle can get real. In a world that's always on, always connected, we're expected to be constantly available. Our work hours have blurred into our personal time, and it can seem as though we're always on call. This can lead to a plethora of problems, stress, burnout, and a diminished quality of life, to name a few. But why is this balance so crucial? Why does it matter? Well, it's simple. Our overall well-being depends on it. A lack of balance can lead to stress-related health issues, decreased productivity, and strained relationships. It can cloud our judgment, hinder our growth, and rob us of the joy of living. Yet, in the midst of this struggle, it's important to remember that it's not about achieving perfect equilibrium. Rather, it's about finding what works for you, what helps you thrive. It's about setting boundaries, knowing your limits, and honoring your needs. It's about understanding that you're a human being, not a machine, and that you deserve to live a fulfilling life, not just exist. The struggle of maintaining a work-life balance is real, but it's not insurmountable. We don't have to let the scales tip too far in one direction we can take steps towards a healthier, more balanced life. But don't worry, as we have some useful tips to help you maintain a healthier work-life balance. Stay tuned, because we're about to dive into some strategies that can help you navigate this balancing act with grace and ease. Our first tip is to prioritize your health. Yes, you heard it right. In the whirlwind of deadlines, meetings, and endless to-do lists, it's easy to neglect our health. But remember, your health is your wealth. It's the foundation upon which every other aspect of your life is built, including your ability to maintain a healthy work-life balance. Good health isn't just about avoiding illness. It's about cultivating vitality and resilience, both physically and mentally. It's about having the energy and focus to manage your workload effectively, and the mental fortitude to handle the inevitable stresses and strains that come with a demanding career. Regular exercise is a key component of good health. It boosts your energy levels, improves your mood, and helps you stay focused and productive. Whether it's a brisk walk during your lunch break, a morning run, or a yoga session after work, find a form of exercise that you enjoy and make it a part of your daily routine. A balanced diet is equally important. The food you eat fuels your body and brain, so fill your plate with nutrient-rich foods that will keep you feeling energized and alert throughout the day. That means plenty of fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Getting enough sleep is another crucial aspect of good health. Sleep is when your body and mind recharge and regenerate. Without enough sleep, your ability to focus, make decisions, and handle stress can be severely compromised. So, make sure you're getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Prioritizing your health also means listening to your body and taking care of your mental well-being. If you're feeling stressed or burned out, it's important to take a step back and take care of yourself. That might mean taking a day off, seeking support from a mental health professional, or simply taking some time to relax and unwind. Remember, a healthy body leads to a healthy mind, and a healthy mind can tackle any challenge that comes its way. So, put your health first. The second tip might sound a bit harsh, but it's necessary. Learn to say no. Yes, you heard that right. Saying no is not just about being stubborn or uncooperative, it's about setting boundaries for yourself in both your professional and personal life. Let's start with the professional side of things. We often find ourselves in situations where we're asked to take on more tasks than we can handle. We fear saying no because we don't want to seem unhelpful or risk losing opportunities, but the reality is overcommitting can lead to stress and even burnout. It's like trying to juggle too many balls at once. Eventually, some are bound to fall. Now let's talk about your personal life. It's easy to overcommit to social events, family responsibilities, and other activities that fill up your calendar. But remember, every yes is a no to something else. Every time you agree to an additional commitment, you're potentially sacrificing time that could be spent on self-care, relaxation, or other priorities. So, 
How do you know when to say no? Prioritize your tasks and responsibilities. Identify what's essential and what aligns with your goals. If a task or commitment doesn't pass this test, it's probably a good candidate for a polite but firm no. But don't worry, saying no doesn't mean you're shutting doors forever. It simply means you're choosing to focus on what's most important for you at this moment. And guess what? People will understand. They may even respect you more for your honesty and your ability to set boundaries. Remember, you're not a superhero. You can't do everything for everyone all the time. And that's okay. It's important to protect your time and energy. They are your most valuable resources. And managing them wisely is a key step in maintaining a healthy work-life balance. So let's start practicing saying no when it's necessary. It might be uncomfortable at first, but over time, it will become easier and you'll find that it makes a huge difference in your life. It's okay to say no sometimes. Protecting your time and energy is crucial for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Our third tip is simple but powerful. Unplug regularly. In our modern world, where we're constantly plugged in, it's easy to forget how important it is to disconnect. Our minds are continuously bombarded with emails, social media notifications, and breaking news updates. This constant information overload can lead to stress, anxiety, and even burnout. So how do we combat this? By unplugging regularly. Taking time away from our digital devices allows our minds to rest, recharge, and reset. It's like giving your brain a mini vacation. And guess what? You don't have to go off the grid for a week to reap the benefits. Even short, regular breaks from technology can make a significant difference in your stress levels and overall well-being. Now you might be wondering, what should I do when I unplug? Well, the answer is anything that helps you relax and refocus. For instance, you could delve into a good book. Reading not only helps to reduce stress, but it also improves brain connectivity and increases empathy. Another option is to meditate. Meditation has been scientifically proven to reduce stress and anxiety, increase focus, and promote a general sense of well-being. Or why not simply spend some time in nature? A walk in the park, a hike in the woods, or even just a few minutes sitting in your backyard can have a profound effect on your mental health. Nature has a calming effect on our minds, helping to reduce stress and increase feelings of happiness. Unplugging regularly is not about shunning technology entirely. It's about creating a healthy balance between our online and offline lives. It's about making a conscious decision to give our minds a break from the digital world, to reconnect with ourselves and the world around us. In the end, unplugging is a way of taking back control of your time and attention, of choosing where and when you want to engage with the digital world. It's about deciding what's really important to you. Remember, unplugging from technology helps you to reconnect with yourself and improves your focus. Our final tip is to seek support when you need it. This one may sound simple, but in practice, it can be one of the toughest steps to take. We often find ourselves fighting the battle of maintaining a healthy work-life balance alone, but it doesn't have to be that way. Consider the people around you, your friends, your family, your colleagues. These are the individuals who know you, who care about you, and who understand the challenges you face. They can provide a listening ear, offer advice, or even step in to share some of your burdens. They can be your sounding board when you're feeling overwhelmed or your cheerleaders when you're feeling discouraged. And then there are professionals, therapists, counselors, life coaches. These individuals are trained to help you navigate the complexities of life. They can provide you with tools and strategies to manage stress, to set boundaries, and to maintain balance. They can help you understand yourself better and guide you towards making positive changes in your life. The key to seeking support is open communication. It's about being honest about what you're going through, about your struggles and your victories. It's about expressing your needs clearly and confidently. It's about forming connections based on mutual respect and understanding. Building a strong support network is vital. It means creating a circle of trust where you can share your experiences, your fears, your dreams. It means having people who will stand by you, who will lift you up when you fall, and who will celebrate with you when you succeed. But remember, a support network is a two-way street. Just as you seek support from others, be ready to provide support in return. Be there for your friends, your family, your colleagues when they need you. Be the listening ear, the advice giver, the burden sharer. In the end, maintaining a healthy work-life balance is about more than just managing your time and tasks. It's about nurturing your relationships, about fostering a sense of community, 
about knowing that you're not alone in your journey. Never hesitate to seek help. Remember, maintaining a healthy work-life balance is not a solo journey, but a collective effort. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started by recognizing the struggle of maintaining a work-life balance. Then we delved into four transformative tips. First, we learned about the paramount importance of prioritizing our health. Remember, you're no good to anyone if you're not taking care of yourself. Next, we explored the power of saying no. It's not about being selfish, but about understanding our own limits and respecting them. Then we touched on the necessity to unplug regularly. In our hyper-connected world, taking a step back from the digital noise can do wonders for our mental health. Finally, we discussed seeking support. You're not alone in this journey. Reach out to your friends, family, or even professional help if needed. All these tips are crucial in maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Remember, balance is not something you find, it's something you create. So, start creating your balance today.